Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So I had planned a much better episode for this, but you kind of get what you get with me, which is kind of like point and shoot. So um, what I had done earlier is I had um, bought some of these mythical summon thingies and I had spun them so that you could kind of see the drop rate because there's going to be a question, mythical summon or mythical buy, right? I mean, like, you, you either buy the bundle or you come over here and you spin. So here's what I've found, generally speaking. The average on a summon is about 3.5, or 3, somewhere in that range. It's pretty darn close to about 4 fragments per 10 spin. If you do them in groups of 5, so that's like $250, you're going to get an average of eight per spin. So that's $50, so that's eight per $50. Now, if you go over here and you look at the heroes, eight for 50 bucks. But this is fragments only. And this uh, has some other stuff in it. Sometimes you get juked, sometimes you get lucky. It kind of averages out. Don't expect if you're going to spend $100 or $200 to get lucky. For that, if you if you can't take the risk of gambling $250, $500, $1,000, or something like that, just go buy the fragments. No fuss, no muss. You're done. Um, if you can you know, afford some variability in your spins and, and keep trying and gambling and you, you don't mind the casino, this is the way to go. So with that said, um, <clears throat> let's talk some numbers because... Um, you know, I just want to basically make it a little bit easier for you guys to understand some ballpark prices. So let's see here. Mm. Yeah, I'm trying to put my numbers again. Actually, I'm probably going to correct them here in a second. Just to be, just to be extra sure. So, let's go to heroes. You can see I'm two star. I'm just gonna show you guys exactly where I am with this, um, and prices, and and talk things more specifically for low spenders, mid spenders, and basically whales who who don't give a duck. Just gonna do stuff. But hold on a second here. I need to get make sure my numbers are kind of correct. I keep these janky heroes around, um, just so I can double check myself. So this is three hundred. Yeah, I knew that. Um, this is. 145 okay that's correct and this is 70 okay yeah so i got my numbers on my local spreadsheet and so it um kind of calculates things out and i think the one before that is 45 or something 35 so my numbers might not be perfect you know just kind of bear with me on that so here we go so if you're going for a retail cost, all right, and here's where I need to remind people, Amazon coins are your best and friend, okay? Discounts, there you go. So retail cost, not Amazon coins. Retail cost is going to be about 12,400, both heroes, six star, all right? So that's at the top. How many people do that? I don't know. It's their business. Um, and that's not including the um, the rounds that you'll get from Lucky Draw. So if you do, I don't know, 10 rounds of Lucky Draw, which would be, um, you know, like $10,000, <clears> that would be, say, 180 fragments, which, you know, is like, what, $1,000? So you take the 12 down to like 11 plus the VIP gift, which is, you know, usually between three and five, and you're coming closer to that $10,000 range that I was talking about before. Your luck might or might not be good with the spins, but we're in that right ballpark range, okay? Now, five star is going to be 8,000-ish um, ballpark if you are just, you know, spinning and some summoning and stuff like that. So six star, say 10, 11-ish, um, five star is going to be about 8,000. Four star is about 4,000, 4, somewhere in that range. 
Three star is about 2,500 ish. And some of these prices, they're including the price to upgrade the skills as well. Because if you don't unlock the skills, I mean, you know, like, what are you doing? So um, it's just kind of taking that into consideration as well. So three star is about 2,500. Two star is about 1,600. One star with all skills, um, like a thousand ish, somewhere in there, a thousand, twelve hundred ish. Um, so hopefully this gives people some sort of um, idea of like planning. What is your level? And now, more importantly, let's show you where things started off um, and kind of the impact of stuff. So you'll see that I went inspired to test, and my friend Diesel, he helped me. And um, it was like, okay, you know, bump me out of there, pretty please. And he said, sure. So he went and he used some of the old heroes. And I don't know if the old heroes are being weird. Maybe, you know, behind the scenes, King of Avalon nerfs them a little bit, you know, or debuffs them. I don't know, but he had a problem bumping me. And he switched over to one star new hero. Pow, first try. Now, my experience with this is a little bit different. It's a little bit different. So I think that there's going to be a lot of variability in this for, you know, people. But generally speaking, I would say one star new hero is not going to be a six star old hero. I think this was probably just a lucky roll. And, um, you know, I think, I think it was a lucky roll. I think this is one of those chance, you know, those times where critical hit just swung to the left a little bit and got lucky. Whether that's happening more or not with the one stars, you know, with the with the new heroes or not, I don't know. Um Yeah. We're gonna do something that I normally don't do. Nah, we're not. I was gonna go inspire and hit somebody. But um yeah, so this just kind of puts things in perspective. So I don't believe that one star new hero is better than six star old. I don't believe that two star is, and I don't believe that three star is. I think that you probably have to get four star or better on the new hero in order to be better than six star on the old hero, frankly speaking. Um, stats for stats, let's assume everything is equal, you know, like both good marches, both dragons are the same, both, you know, amount of troops are the same, stats are relatively close all things considered equal because there's a lot of different variables in the game you know all those little itty bitty points i'd say you're like three star four star range new hero before you're gonna start beating six star old hero everything else being equal normally everything else isn't equal so people do these weird unfair comparisons but um yeah so don't know what else to say there's uh there's gonna be lots of speculation and as I do more testing as I upgrade more and I measure things, I'll let you guys know straight up like what's what. Um, again, please use Amazon. I I get nothing from this. This isn't a sponsored post at all. <clears throat> I am not dropping any affiliate links. If you do need help, go on my Discord. Um, I'll help you out either if you're in the United States getting set up with that. If you're outside the United States, um, you know there's there are possibilities for you so uh, i love you guys sorry i didn't get to show you all my little gambling adventure i probably will put that like in a fans only post or something so i basically spun i think it was like 1600 ish something like that so i spent like 1600 and i recorded it on my android device i need to glue it together um and uh, you know i'll drop it for you so you guys can see but i'm i made some comments in there and the reason i'm not posting that I made some comments in there. They were stupid. And I was wrong. And therefore, that's why you don't see it. Um, specifically, I had forgotten that the fifth time you summon with this, you get this reward. <clears throat> I had not calculated that in. And I made some stupid, you know, negative comments, and it was just wrong. So I figured, oh, snap. Um, yeah. And that's why we're re-recording this, because <clears throat> the Mythical Summon, it, it normally was, like, the last time it was better. This time it should be better. Um, and, you know, I was just like, blah, 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 talking smack. So, 
Oh, there's one other point. So this time we're doing um, diamond horns. Last time you did legendary. If you have legendary horns or you have uh, Firelands rewards, you can actually go in your backpack and convert those over to diamond horns. Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. <coughs> you can convert those over to uh, from legendary horns to diamond horns. So if you have extra of them, like go for it or something. Oh, wait. Yeah, you can also convert these spare fragments too, but um, I definitely am not doing that. That's, that's definitely not happening. Um, there we go. Love you guys. Hope this helps you. Bye for now.